if you didn't think that letting them out roaming was a good idea, you can also try to leash train them. Mm -hmm. I think leash training is a, is a topic that a lot of people ask. And if you ever see people walking around with a cat on a leash, it's always funny to others when they see it. <laughs> because first of all, they don't like being on leashes, not mm -hmm. like dogs. We never got our cat Yoda, the first one, to get leash trained, even though we did try. We but I think consistent. we tried. We, we were weren't bad. consistent, but also I think she was, because she was an indoor cat, yeah. she never roamed outside. She didn't understand why she was outside in the first place. And secondly, why is this thing attached to me? Yeah, and these new feral cats are, I must try to go hunt something. And so I will tolerate this leash. Yeah, <laughs> and they didn't take to it right away either. It was about consistency. Yeah, we weren't consistent in the beginning because we didn't need to have them on a leash. We we were in Europe and there was no predators and most mm -hmm. of the time they were just free to roam wherever we were. But it's a good idea to have that because you never know when you need to put your cat on a leash. Or, sometimes yeah. sometimes we have to do that because the time that we're doing this uh, almost at every place we stay is the day that we're checking out of a campground or the day that we're departing from a boondocking place. Mm -hmm. But we got stuff to take care of in the morning or whatever or packing up. Mm -hmm. Because they're conditioned to wake up in the morning and want to go outside. Yeah. But if we just let them outside and roam for the day, they don't know that it's departure day. So but, they could be gone all day. But I think they know it's departure day because I think they realize there's a little bit something different different in our routine. Yeah. And they're like, oh, At I'm some point go they hide. figure it out. But the, when they first wake up in the morning. Yeah, they don't know. Yeah. But as soon as we start shuffling our bags and stuff, then they start hiding. That's yeah. just what they do that's their default yeah. so we have to have them on leashes and it was really hard in the beginning just like with our house cat she turned into a pancake and wouldn't move wouldn't tolerate the leash um, or the harness at first but it was baby steps it was like put on the harness on these wild cats which was a thing and then i gave them their favorite treats and then i would put it on while they were eating dinner and then one time i had we had to run to like the vet with toby or something for or we caught another cat that we need to sterilize and we ran out of the house to go take care of it really quick and i forgot i left the harnesses on the cats and when we came back a few hours later they were just chilling they didn't care they weren't pancakes so i think it was just the amount of time again it goes back to the consistency mm -hmm. leash training is definitely possible leash training is uh something that you'll have to do whether or not you get your cat to do well off the leash just free roam mm -hmm. and again like we said earlier we're gonna talk about picking campgrounds which determines whether or not free roaming is a possibility because mm -hmm. you, if we're close to a, a, a busy street we're going to have them on the leash yeah. if we are close to other animals mm -hmm. you know we, we don't want them to kind of venture into somebody's backyard with a with a dangerous dog when we're going to have them on the leash yeah. so being able to have them leash trained even if you're not walking with them on a leash just for them to feel comfortable wearing a harness and, and on a leash and we have, is important. Yeah, and we have two different cats with their siblings, but they're totally different personalities. Yeah. And the male, as soon as I take that harness and leash out, he gets so excited because he knows he's going to go outside, even though he'd rather be wild. But maybe he's yeah. If you have care. a lot of experience with cats and other animals at all, you'll know that they're not all the same. Yeah. You know, it's not like, oh, yeah, one thing works with all cats or one behavior is the same across all cats. Right. So. Like one is much more into hunting. Mm -hmm. One is not. Yeah. You know, one is uh, very food motivated. Yeah. One is not. Yeah. Right. So, so in that range, that whole gamut <laughs> is a is a huge range. It could, mm -hmm. You could go from and, and compare that with our old cat, Yoda. Yeah. She's totally different from these two cats. Yeah, so the male, as soon as he sees the harness and I shake uh, the leash, he's like, I'm ready, let's go, put this on. He starts meowing. The female, she'll hide and just, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna go outside. I'm gonna go lay down right here. Good luck putting this harness on. But it took her now, when I take it out, like I recently noticed, it took like a couple years. She's like, okay, let's go. Yeah. Like she's just yeah. finally giving in. It took a long time. <laughs> she had to figure out that. You have to relent yeah. <laughs> if you want to get something happening. So it's possible. 